I only ever perform this card trick as a closing effect. There's just so much magic. It's so impossible. As a mentalism effect, it builds so beautifully. It's a real showstopper, okay? I've got a prediction. I've written the names of some playing cards on this. I'm going to put this inside the card case and keep it in full view the entire time. Super fair. Next, what we're going to do is this. I'm not going to have you reach inside and grab a playing card. Instead, I'm just going to riffle. You say stop when you want. They call stop. I cut the pack. We're going to use three cards. The first card is going to be a red ace. Think about the red ace. Keep it in mind. Think of its color. Think about the fact that it's the highest card in a pack, a red ace, okay? I'm going to riffle through. You say stop whenever you want. They call stop. And right where they say stop, I slip in the ace. Okay? Let's do it again. Next card is going to be, oh, a black jack. So again, Think about the jack. Concentrate. It's a black card. It's a club. It's got a face on it. Okay, a jack. And again, I'm going to go through. You call stop wherever you want. Where they call stop is exactly where I slip in the jack. Last time, what do we have here? Eight. Okay, an eight of spades. Last card. Think about the eight. Concentrate. So not a high card, not a low card, a black eight. Concentrate. Wherever you call stop, they call stop right there. I slip the card in at that point. You couldn't be more fair. Three times they call stop. Three times you take the card and slip it in the exact spot. Then you can hand someone else the pack if you want. Have them slowly spread through and say, I want you to remove the three face-up cards from the exact position you put them in, that you decided, and the card directly below. So they spread through. They come to the black eight and they put the card below it on the table. Like I said, they can do it. No slights, nothing tricky. Then the red ace and the card below that. And finally, exactly where they said stop for the blackjack. Three cards. Then you have them turn them over one by one. Directly below where they decide to call stop for the black eight. The second black eight. Directly below the red ace. The other red ace. And finally, below the jack of clubs the jack of spades, even though they had three 100% free choices and no forces. To finish, you have someone take out the fold of prediction from, that's been there from the very beginning, and they find that you, in fact, predicted the eights, the jacks, and the aces. Now, as I said, this is a real showstopper. This is so strong, the build. One of the things about magic, it's so important, is clarity. And this trick does the impossible three times in a row, then the kicker. So it's crazy clear. It's almost brutally clear. So I'm going to reveal the secrets of this right now. Uh, it uses a move or a slight you might already know, but a slightly different technique on it that's really interesting to make sure the sight lines are strong, okay? so And they really do have three. There's no forces. You have three fair choices on where they say stop, which is one of the things that makes this such a crazy strong stop trick. All right? Uh, so I'm going to reveal the secret in just a second. Also going to give you the, uh, here's the question of the week, because this week I'm going to be giving away 12 of my Photoshop. Now, as always, you can go to sankeymagic.com, check out or search on the search up there, Sankey Magic Photoshop. Okay, not Photoshop, Photoshop. It's a wild card trick where something impossible happens inside a photograph. So because it happens in a photo, I thought, well, maybe a cool question for this week would be if you had a photograph and you were in front of some people performing, whether on a Zoom show or live, whatever, and you could make anything appear, like one moment they see the photo is a photo of a park bench, let's say, and the next you could make anything appear, any image appear in that photo. So something appears in the photograph that they've already seen, what would it be? What do you think would truly freak people out? terrify them or make them laugh or maybe make them send you a lot of money. That's always a perk in a trick. So leave a comment down below for your chance to win and let me know what would appear inside the photograph. All right. Uh, we're going to announce the Surreal Magic winners in just a little bit too. But before we get to the Surreal Magic winners, let's jump into here. I want to show you a few different ideas I have with this. Okay. So the setup on this is I've got uh, two black eights, then two black aces, and then finally two black jacks, okay? And all of those are on top of the pack. First, I'm gonna introduce the prediction, all right? I introduce the prediction. Boom, take that out, emphasize that, put that in the card case, okay? Like that. Now, I'm here, and I say, give the cards a bit of a mix-up, like this. 
cut them, keep a break, and I'm going to use a riffle force. I use it a lot here in the channel. And I like to sort of spread out the card and say, instead of having to reach inside, grab a card, because what that does is it makes sort of a mess, but I'm keeping the break with my pinky. I'm just spreading the cards above the break. Square them up, say stop, and then I'm going to cover the front edge, uh, this right side, okay? I'm not going to cover the hole as I riffle because it looks a bit suspicious, but I want to come over here like that grip just because I want to make sure no one sees any of any of the gap here. So I'm here, riffle the edge here, they call stop, and then I cut the cards. And I've cut to my six card setup. I turn this over and I say, oh, it's a jack, okay? Now I want you to keep that in mind, a jack, okay? So think black, think face cards. And there's a particular reason, my friends out there in to YouTube land, to you land, uh, why I touch my head. Because I'm going to get a double lift here. I need to motivate it with my actions. And here's what I'm doing. Rather than taking two cards on the right edge, I'm going to riffle. I'm going to have the deck slightly beveled to the right. And with the tip of my thumb up here, I'm going to riffle off one, two cards. Behind my fingers, I take the top two cards off like this. And then I focus here. So look at this grip. Because you will see a lot of magicians will say double lift will fool people. And it will if they're five, six feet away. If they're closer than that, you really have to be careful that you're either holding the card down so they don't see this front edge or you're blocking the front edge. And that's what I'm gonna do here. By holding it like this, by taking the card off here like this, okay? Then I focus here, all focus is here, this is down here. Now, wherever they call stop, they call stop there, let's say. I'm not going to bring this up. I don't want them to see that double edge. I'm going to sort of bring this down, make sure the back of my fingers cover this as I come over. That way it's impossible for them to see the two edges. So I'm actually putting two cards in every time. The face up jack and the face down jack. All right. I do it again. Let's see the next card here. Ace of diamonds. Okay. So it's a red. It's a red card. It's an ace. Don't get distracted by the fact that it's the highest card in the pack. Okay. I'm going to go through and I want you to call stop wherever you want. They see me take it off. I riffle through. I slip this in wherever they want. And again, it's the face up ace and the face down ace. And that of course leaves me with my last two cards on top. Of course, last two cards repeated as well. Okay, where I'm riffling down, uh, where again, I just turn over the card, say, okay, we've done two. Last one, black eight, okay, I really want you to concentrate, okay, use your intuition. You're saying whatever, just to take a beat to give you time to get that double, then they call stop. One last time, really emphasize that that's exactly where it's going to go like this, boom. Now, pause. Make sure they understand what's happened. This is really important. Now's a good time. You don't want to use your words in a magic trick too often to repeat just what they've already seen. Okay. However, in a trick like this, where it's so dramatic, I think it's nice to stop and you don't want to get caught overselling, but it's stop and able to say, so with three cards, three times you said stop wherever you want it. Right. And you saw me slowly put all three in three different, and maybe in fact, they're holding onto the deck at this point. Well, you emphasize we did this. You saw me do this. Everyone would agree. Okay. Now I would state it as a statement. Don't do it as a question. You'd all agree, right? That it was everyone. Cause that's when you're going to get, uh, you know, a bazoobo over there. Who's going to go, well, I don't know. You guys are pretty tricky, huh? <laughs> the whole thing fizzles out. So just reiterate, don't ask a question, okay? And then now, you can either say at this point, and don't forget my prediction, right? Or just do this and leave that as a final thing, okay? Now, in a moment, I want to show you the prediction, but before I do that, because uh, I'm going to show you a different uh, way to reveal the prediction that I did in the performance. I think it's a lot more dramatic. I'm going to reveal that to you in just a second. But before I do, the Surreal Magic winners from last week, okay? Surreal Magic winners from last week. You guys all won. Here we go. If I say your name right now, remember, contact my team by email, okay? Don't, don't try smoke signals or try telepathy, okay? Telepathy doesn't really work with my team, okay? They're smart, but they're not that smart, okay? So no telepathy. But email them. Send an email to contact at sankeymagic.com. Let them know your real name, your YouTube name. Uh, and your mailing address, and they will ship to you guys the Surreal Magic Project, okay? Which has a whole bunch of cool tricks on it. Mostly not card, not coin, sort of left of center stuff. Devin Ram Nareen, Ram Nareen. Devin Na Na you heard me the first time. Salad Man, yes, Salad Man. Uh, Adam Deering, George Arrington, or Arrington, Diego Lopez, Chris Bebe. Yo, Bebe, what's up? Sorry about that, Chris Bebe. Uh, Joshua May, he might, I don't know. 
uh, Joel Herrera, Andrew Weddle, 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 Nino Sissel, Nino, Nino Sissel, Nino Sissel, uh, Aiden McPavian. Whoa, McPavian. He sounds like I'm a pigeon salesman in Peru. And then finally, Emerson Of. Oh, this is hard. O F E I M U N. I hope I got that right. Sorry if I get I butcher these names. I know Emerson Ophium. You guys all won. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. All right, let's look into this now. Here we go. So we're here. You have the spectator if you want go through and and take out the jack and the card below it and the uh, eight and the card below it and I mean the fact if you only did this once. That's the second time I missed this. If you only did this once with one card and you could notice they can call stop one card slip it in you can find the mate that way. But to do it three times. Now, you can reveal the prediction first, okay? And then one by one reveal these. But I think it works better if you do it this way. Ace of diamonds, boom. Ace of spades, boom. And finally, the jack of spades, okay? Doing this once would be great. Three times in a row was crazy. This is why it shouts closer. However, I think this is pretty good. Where you then go, and I predicted eights and the jacks and the aces, okay? That's pretty cool, but let me show you. I think this is even stronger. Three separate predictions. Because the other way you predict and it's check, check, check. This way there's three moments. I predicted the jacks, boom. And they still don't know, the last two. Is it a match, is it not a match? I predicted the aces, okay. He's the, and now it seems like you can predict the future to ever. There's just something about doing it one at a time that I think is better theater and more dramatic. So there you have it. Very cool trick. Do not forget, uh, it's always about practice. Practice that, make sure the bevel is key. If you don't have it slightly beveled, if you got it going the wrong way or something, you gotta get it just the right way for you to be able to really get that double every single time, all right? Don't forget the question of the week for Photoshop. Leave a comment and tell me if anything could appear in a photograph. You show them a photograph, a moment later, something crazy appears in that photograph, okay? What would it be? Leave a comment for your chance to win. And hey, as always, subscribe over here. We'll do subscribe over here. And I'm going to put a video here. And I'm going to suggest you click on a link down there. Now, the, click, the link down there is going to be to one of my two Instagram channels. It's to the real Jay Sankey. I have an Instagram channel called The Real Jay Sankey, dedicated to magic stuff. So you definitely want to uh, subscribe to that. Start following me on the Instagram channel. Links down there, video over here, subscribe here, and smash that. Let's try something. I never asked for this, guys. Smash the like button. If you're looking at me right now and you feel a well of pity come up, smash the like button. Smash it. Hit it really hard. Smash it. Do it. Do it! Please.